everyone. Thanks again, once again, for tuning in to Porch Talk. Yes, that's right. You know, I'm going to bring you a little 401 to foolishness, of course. So, Wendy Williams. I don't know if you guys remember this, but Wendy Williams has had some suspicious activity. There was an interview way back. Her and Mathis got into it, and he went off on her about being a crackhead. <laughs> of course, there was another interview she admitted to... She was trying to get Whitney to come out, Whitney Houston that is, to come out and say she was on drugs. And she said she used to be on drugs as well. I said all that to say this. Fast forward, last year of Halloween, Wendy did a special and she kind of, she was wearing the Statue of Liberty costume. And she fainted. She started, in fainted, you know. Not trying to make fun of her, just trying to show you, give you a flash of what she did without throwing a clip in there. So at any rate... Now, we flash forward, she's been gone from her show, she's taken a hiatus, and she, it's been blamed on her having Graves' disease, but there's also speculation that her husband is actually abusing her. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you've been paying attention, it's been constant talk about her being cheated on, him having a side chick, I think even having this side chick pregnant, supposedly he's had this side chick for 10 years. People talk shit. You know, Wendy's always talking shit. She need to air her drama out and she needs to come on out with her shit. I, hey, that's her marriage. She want to hide it, throw it up under the rug. You know, us, us people are good for sweeping shit up under the rug. And like I've said in the previous video, if you follow me on Instagram, it's only so much shit that this rug is going to cover up. However, I do believe that people are justified and entitled of keeping their business to themselves. These are their relationships. These are their lives. And ultimately, we are the masters and decision makers of our situations. So fuck what everybody else has to say. But now, in light of this, Nick Cannon has been one of the people to host her show. I actually did watch one of the shows. Um, I think he did okay. He did. Nick Cannon is really a good host you know really for wild mountain the other shit that he does the thing about it is so wendy is supposedly scared that he's gonna take over her show now is this true i don't know if this is in the blogs you know the blogs make up shit all the time so we're just gonna take it as it's some blog shit and if it comes out to be true it does if it even matters just to put you in what i'm talking about wendy williams super scared about losing her namesake talk show as producers say they want nick cannon to replace her permanently this is in Baller Alert, by the way. Amid the long-standing confusion surrounding Wendy Williams' extended hiatus from her popular namesake talk show, sources say the Gossip Queen is super scared about losing it all. She's super scared and anxious. An insider told Page Six, highlighting the success of her stand-ins, watching Nick Cannon being a huge hit with her audience is tough for her. They're already starting to mess with the format. It's like watching them screw around with her baby. Despite the sources claims through earlier reports suggested Williams was more comfortable with Candace's appearance as she provided an exclusive update to her health. Meanwhile, other sources said the exclusive admission left producers and members of the production crew pissed. Um, and you can read the rest at Ball or Alert. You know, I hope he doesn't take over her show. I, I hope this is just some BS anyway. I think that Wendy is her own show. I don't think anybody can replace her on her show. Wendy is known for being shady. She's known for bringing a tea. Nick Cannon really isn't shady, so he could do another show, but not her show. Her show is her show. I'm more concerned of what's going on with her period, though, because she has had this hiatus. If this man is abusing her, if he's cheating on her, between the abuse, between the cheating, between already being a previous addict, that could have triggered her to start using again. It could be a, a lot of combination of things. And I think we're so quick to sit up and poke fun at people and laugh at them and talk shit when they're really going through some shit, you know. And they be knee deep in the shit, okay? Not a plunger could get them out of the shit, you know what I'm saying? So not, not a damn snake can get them up out of the shit. So we just need to be sensitive sometimes to people. I know it's hard because we got our own fucked up shit going on too. But with that, in lieu of that, think about it. We do have our own fucked up shit going on. So why do you think she doesn't have fucked up shit going on? I just, I just saying, you know, so we are so quick to throw shade. Sometimes we need to have some compassion and empathy. Thanks again, once again, for tuning in to Porch Talk. Check in next time. Bye. 
make sure you choose Rocky Road Productions LLC Porch Talk to feed your entertainment needs. And you can do that by following us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you like this video and share it with all your family and friends. Tag somebody in it, why don't you? And don't forget to comment down below and let us know how you feel. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe. That's right. You'll catch us every week. Looking forward to see you again next time. Bye.